Jesus, man, getting prepped. Okay. He's fucking ready. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Good to go? All right. Hey guys, it's Hayden from MMT. Today we're just gonna show you a presentation on scapular humeral rhythm, or pretty much just the just the winging or the, the rotation of, of the scapula. So I've got darts here. I'm just gonna get him to do some um, simple abduction on each side. And you can see this side is just a bit quite winged compared to this side. So you can see that just coming out like so. And as it comes down, it's not too bad, but there is just a bit of winging. So we're just going to treat around the scapula, especially around teres major, teres minor, infraspinatus, and try to get that winging um, rectified and get that uh, that movement a lot more smoother. Mm. All right, so I'll get you on the table, sir. So this left one, that's that one I broke that collarbone probably. Okay. Three or four years ago. Yeah. So yeah, I do have some dysfunction of that shoulder doesn't move quite as well is yep. a little bit weaker so okay uh, there's definitely some stuff in the rhomboid as well as the teres minor rotator cuff yep. muscles that I feel sort of creating pain in the shoulder and yep. also weakness so okay. a good reset on that would yep. be really really good so as Dars just stated he has a, had a previous injury in that left shoulder so it is kind of uh, natural for that shoulder to kind of seize up a lot quicker and become a lot more kind of jammed up through that rotator cuff yep. all right so we will Where's the wax over here? Oh, I've needed this. Alright, so we'll just start slowly, just with an opening stroke. Kind of place the other hand on that scapula and just kind of drag it out. Start with those erectors mid trap, just down along the spine, just to open the tissue up, get it nice and warmed up. Oh yeah, I love that opening down the stroke. Next one, we'll kind of. Dig our right hand in, and we're just going to go around the medial border of that scapula where the rhomboids, the mid trap, lie. A very common spot for trigger points or knots to form, yeah. which can kind of decrease that range of motion through that rotation. Yeah. And just kind of feel under my hand here a lot of knots and trigger points. So again, I'll pull this scapula back, try to open it up a bit, get that pizzy form into those knots. Yeah. Going a bit deeper with this stroke, opening it up. Oh, oh that's really good. And the rhomboids is, is a muscle that kind of uh, limits that upward rotation of the scapula, so which can cause a fair bit of jamming. We just kind of grab our thumb. We just want to find a good kind of knot in there. Yeah. Good just one in there. Yeah. yeah. Feel it coming up. Oh, yeah. Sink in there for a bit. Do this for about 20 seconds. And then we kind of just keep following that medial border down. Find another knot. Or trigger yeah, point. I can feel a bit of twitching under my thumb there, so we're just going to sit on this one for a bit. Mm -hmm. Making sure the client's just breathing the all the way through it. Just come down and through. Yeah. Just another more of a superficial stroke through there. 
All right, next muscle we'll come to is the teres minor and teres major, which kind of lines up through it here. So at the start, I'll just get him to stay like he is. We're just kind of hooking that, that thumb under the bottom there. Yep. So there's a good knot in there. Yeah, that's it. We're just going to come in and under like so. Yeah, it's quite tight in through here. Just coming all the way up. Ooh. Yeah, that feels really good, that line, man. You yeah. want something good. Uh. And this can kind of give a bit of referral pain up into the shoulder, into the neck, or even down the arm yep. as well. So I can feel that going into the front of the shoulder and then there was parts where it went down the back into the elbow as well. Yeah. And I've noticed during like push-ups I've had that pain in the elbow, that clickiness in the elbow and I think it might be coming from this area so yeah. Really relieving. I'm getting a lot of a lot of value out of this. Alright, this second stroke, just as I go along, I'm just gonna ask Darcy to kind of lift his arm up and then just straighten it out like so, just as I go along, so Start lifting oh, it up. Yeah, pause there for pull on oh, yeah. that. Yeah. Good spot there. Yep. And then start kind of taking that arm out. Oh. And we're just pinning that muscle as he's stretching it out for a bit more of an effective release. Yep, that's really good. Next muscle we'll move on to is infraspinatus, and this one lies just on top of the scapula. And this this uh, muscle generally has a, some strong referral to the front of the shoulder. Yeah. Uh, very common. And it's a very common muscle to kind of jam up through that rotation, those rotational exercises. And we just kind of need to use the thumb for this. So I'll just ask Darcy to let me know when I'm on a good spot. So I reckon um, where you started. Where I started, yep. Okay. And and probably got, I'll tell you when to slow down, so yep. keep going through that line. Okay, and yeah, you're starting to come on it there. Yep. Yep, right there. Okay. Pause just on that. Sit on it oh. here. Oh. Yeah, I can even feel that into the front and in my hand. Oh, yep. that's it. Sensitive. Yeah. Oh. That's good. Yeah. I feel like this one almost limits my internal rotation. Yeah. Like it limits that. And I've had that limit for for quite a while. Yeah. Constantly getting the ball in there, but it just feels so much better when someone else does it. Yeah. Oh. Good spot there. We don't need to go too hard. Giving me quite oh. a bit of resistance to my thumb. That's really good. Oh. Oh. So we'll just get one more spot. Sit on this for another 10 seconds. Alright. So I'll get Darcy to get off the table now. We're just going to retest. Just yeah. have a look. Uh, just that, that, even that small treatment, just uh, kind of decrease that compression going between that spine and the scapula and even that rotation going up through. It feels good, it definitely, you know, after the camera's rolling, we did it definitely get some more into it. Yeah. I can still feel there's stuff going, but for the video's sake. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can already feel the difference between my right one that hasn't been treated, how much yeah. smoother does it look smoother? Yeah, so there's a bit of decompression here, you can kind of see with those muscles in between there, and it just looks a lot smoother. 
in through there and that was only off one or two strokes and just the movement itself that rotation is a bit smoother obviously we do a lot more work through that through that uh, rotator cuff complex so and that was only five minutes so there's noticeable change there so 45 minutes of that yeah good to go so yeah if you're having a bit of a rotator cuff uh, jamming or any kind of limited movement through there come in and see us at MMT and uh, we'll fix you up Fixed. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Done.